Oi, oi, mobilisi. Hey everyone, today I'm gonna do some basic explanation about fourth gen RNG and things you'll need before I start my fourth gen RNG tutorials. So, I'm gonna go through this game by game. So, Heart Gold and Soul Silver is slightly, slightly different than Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. There's not too many differences, but I'll go over them uh, with you guys today. So the first things first is what you will need for both games. Uh, for either game, you will need the RNG Reporter program, and you will need the Eon Timer program. For either game, you will need uh, two chat ops with a recorded chatter. This is for frame advancement. Uh, for either game, if you're going for a wild capture, you will need um, a Pokemon who knows Sweet Scent. So that is what you'll need if you're doing either the Sinnoh games or the Hoenn games. You need them in both games. Uh, now let's just... or Hoenn, uh, Johto. Uh, so now let's talk about the Johto games specifically. Um, so for the Johto games, uh, along with everything I just mentioned, you will need to have this man registered in your Pokegear. His Juggler Irwin. Uh, so he'd be registered in my Pokegear phone here. He should be the only, the only other person I registered. Um, why you need him is the interesting thing about um, Gen 4 games is before you encounter the Pokemon that you're going for, you can actually confirm which seed you're on. And by calling Erwin, he gives one of three responses. I can show you that real quick. Um, <clears throat> he'll give you one of three responses. And... Uh, those responses can be used to determine, uh, you just call him over and over again, and uh, <clears throat> see, uh, if you click here, these are the responses he can give you based on, and if you hit your seed correctly, uh, he will give you the responses that he's supposed to on that particular seed. So you just type in accordingly when you call him what responses he's giving. Um, that's what he's for, and calling him also advances the frame by one. So simultaneously, you're doing some frame advancements, and you're confirming that you're on the correct seed. Um, the other thing you will need is to have a roaming legendary released, at least one. It'd be preferable if you had three released, but not everyone will have that anymore. Uh, I only have Entei out anymore. Um, he's a neat guy. Uh, so these guys are used for confirming which seed you're on as well. And the reason... You don't need them technically. Uh, however... The reason you use them to confirm which seed you're on is because while flipping chatots and the pitches will help you confirm the seed, a combination of the calls to Erwin and the location of the roaming legendaries allows you to confirm which seed you're on much faster. The reason you have to confirming your seed is a big deal is um, you can miss the seed just basically through luck. Uh, you'll just miss your seed sometimes. It's a thing called a delay. It's very, very difficult to hit uh, exactly every time. You'll get very close to it pretty much every time. Uh, and it's not hard. It's not like you'll be missing it like 50 times in a row. Like You'll probably get your delay most times you try. But uh, it misses frequently enough that it's worth having both Erwin registered and Roaming Legendaries released so that you can call uh, and check their locations to make sure that you're on the correct seed before you start doing all the advancements with the chat dots. Okay. So. I will explain now what you need in uh, Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum. I'm turning my DS off, and I'm going to put it in my Pearl version. So, in Pearl version, uh, besides the things that both games will need, like I said, which would be Chadots and uh, Pokemon who have Sweet Scent, you will also need... <clears throat> the coin flip app and you will need this so on certain pages uh, by flipping to a specific page where you've caught a Pokemon uh, that will advance the um, <clears throat> that will advance the frame by two so this is a method of frame advancement just like the chat outs are besides that the other thing you'll need is the coin flip app which I have here on the Poketch um, Flipping the coin acts very similarly to calling Erwin. Um, by flipping the coin, uh, if you hit the correct seed, uh, the coin flips will be the same order every single time. And 
the coin flips are a bit slower as for confirmation, but again, you can miss your delay, which I will explain what a delay is in one moment. Uh, but you can miss this pretty frequently, so uh, it's pretty worth it to have this and just confirm which seed you're on. So that's for confirmation and advancing, and that's all you actually need in this game compared to the other, uh, compared to Heart Gold and Soul Silver. You have le less methods of confirming which seed you're on, uh, and the one method you do have of confirming it is slower. Um, okay, so what am I on about when I'm talking about delay? Well, I will show you. So one thing you need to note about these games is there's no individual calibration. Um, all fourth gen games have the same calibration, uh, in a sense. So Heart Gold and Soul Silver have the same. I will show you in a second, in the RNG reporter here. And all fourth gen Sinnoh games have the same. So. What is a delay? Well, a delay is basically when you turn on your game, uh, your DS game, the way you manipulate the RNG is by booting the game up at a specific time. So I'd go into my date and time here, and I would change the date. I would change what date I'm on. And so I hit OK, and then I would go into the clock here, and I would change the time, and then I'd go into Eon Timer, and I would change the time here as well. And then I would start e uh, the game at the same time I start Eon Timer. And I'll, I'll go through this in a second. Don't worry. I know I'm going fast. This is just meant to be a quick explanation. Okay. So the delay is after the game starts up, you don't go right into the game and look for your Pokemon. After the game starts up, you wait on the screen where you load your save file from. And you wait there for a certain amount of seconds. The minimum delay is how long uh, you have to, like, the minimum delay is the minimum amount of time it takes to get to that screen on each game. So Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, the minimum delay should be 600. That's the setting. That's all you need to know. On Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver, the minimum delay should be 490. So I'm on Platinum here. Or not Platinum, I'm on Pearl. The maximum delay is how long you're willing to wait on that screen. The longer you're willing to wait, the more options you have available in terms of seeds. Which, and seeds are just what Pokemon you can get. The minimum and maximum frame is how many advancements you're willing to do. Um, I usually leave this around 100. Uh, you're not going to have too much trouble finding stuff uh, unless you're looking for shinies. If you're looking for shinies, you're going to want a much bigger range here, like several hundred, like 400 or so. Uh, all the advancements is is how many times you're flipping through chat outs or flipping to journal pages or listening to the radio in Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver. Those are the only ways to advance. And those are, the, those are the quickest ways of advancements, and it's just how many times you're willing to do that. Um, aside from that, that's all you pretty much need to know as in the basics. And I'm going to do an example boot up here. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go into Eon Timer. <clears throat> and in Eon Timer, the calibrated delay is what your game is. So 490 for Heart Gold Soul Silver, 600 for Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum. Okay? Calibrated seconds is 14 for both games. Never ever change this, okay? The target delay is the delay you're going to be getting when you uh, when you search for a seed in the time finder and the seed to time tool here. I'm not going to be explaining that in this video. I will explain that in my wild capture video, okay? This is just going to be a simulated boot up. So let's say I'm going for delay, I don't know, delay 2000, okay? And I will be changing this to 23 seconds. Okay. So you will start Eon Timer and your DS clock at the same time. Oh, actually, we got to hit cancel. Uh, one thing to note is about the fourth gen games frequently you'll have one minute before your target. That's interesting. That's just a note. So anyway, <clears throat> so you're gonna start this and this clock is just, uh, it's just counting down to um, when you have to start the game. That's the first, what's what the first timer is for, okay? So this is a lot like 5th uh, gen RNG if you've done that. So we're going to wait for this to count us down. Eon timer will beep six times before you go. 
It's very simple, nothing too complicated. It's my pocket Mansuta Perlu. So once that happens, you're just gonna mash your way to the start screen. The buttons here do not matter like they did in fifth gen. And then what this timer here is counting down is this screen here. You wait for this timer to go down and then when this timer hits zero is when you boot up the game. So that's all we're waiting for here. Nothing too difficult. And that's that. You start your game up and you confirm your seed by doing stupid poke edge coin flips. And that's it. That's the concepts uh, of 4th gen RNG. So this is just everything you need to know about 4th gen RNG, um, what you need for it, and how generally things work. Uh, look forward to my tutorials next week. Uh, where I will be showing off a actual RNG abuse in the games, like how it works, and showing a specific method of RNG abuse. This was, again, just to show you how it works, since there's no real calibration phase, okay? All right, thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next week with a tutorial for how to abuse trainer IDs in Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, or Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver. See you guys later. Do that. Very good position, though. Uh, I want to so get Kangaskhan out of there. Uh, I'm afraid of like an Aura Sphere or something from uh, Togekiss. I wanna mix Again, I have not fought Togus Kiss and, in doubles uh, before. Going for shiny frames, uh, what you do. However, Togekiss, uh, once I see it uses Follow Me here, uh, so I'm like, oh, Togekiss is a